I had a tablighi guy coming from Marysburg. He said, you of Goka. He's a young man, tablighi. He always comes along. He's some Darul Ulum in, in the Transvaal. When he comes to Durban, he wants to have a little brushing with me. I enjoy that. You young people coming and talking to me, I enjoy that. Wallah, well, can argue and debate with me? I enjoy that. So he prodded me to say, I said, look, Yusuf, who is the most hated Muslim by the Christians of South Africa? He said, you. <laughs> you think I punch him on the jaw? No. He's saying, fuck. I said, who is the most hated Muslim by the Jews of South Africa? He said, you. Me. I'm asking, who is the most hated Muslim by the Hindus of South Africa? He said, you. No, I said, it's true. It's true. No, no. Look, haq is haq. True is true. You can all vouch for that, I'm sure. You all can vouch for that. I am the most hated guy by the Hindus, the Christians, and the Jews. It's true. But I said, you know, we have 500 masjids in the country. With 500 imams. Every masjid has an imam. Molvi, Molana, Shaykh. No? Yes. In the Cape, here, in the Tartu, everywhere. Every masjid has an imam. I said, now, there are 500 masjids with 500 imams. Is there one of those imams hated by the Christian? One, 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 one. I want you to give me the name. I want you to tell me that so-and-so imam is hated by the Christian, or the Jew, or by the Hindu. One. Give me one in the 500. Give me one. Can you think of one? That one Muslim alim is being hated by the Hindu or the Christian or the Jew. One. Give me one name. Man, fantastic. They're all angels. The only troublemaker is Ahmad Didat. <laughs> Amazing. No, it shows something. What? That I'm a troublemaker. I'm looking for trouble. I don't love my life. I'm 77 years old. Allah has paid me, alhamdulillah. But now I'm going to commit suicide. At this age, I'm going to commit suicide. <laughs> no. You see, we have lost our mission. Our job, primary job of the Muslim is to talk, man, do dawa, invite people. That's your primary job. Invite all. Udwila sabili rabbika bil hikmat. Allah says, invite all to the ways of thy Lord with wisdom. Wal mawazatil hasanat and with beautiful preaching. Wajadilhum billati asan and reason with them in the ways that are best and most precious. And He shows you how to do the talk. But that doesn't mean it can't create provocation. Provocation is not a test. Provocation is not a test. Because if that is the test, then our Nabi Karim Salaam was a failure. Do you know, at the age of, up to the age of 40, he was loved by his people. He was respected by his people. They gave him, the, the Mushiks gave him the title, as sadiq al wadul Amin, a person who fulfills his promises, the sadiq al wad and he's al Amin, he's the truthful, the faithful, the sincere. And that's the title they gave him, before Nubuwa. When he proclaimed his mission, they want to kill him. Hmm? For 13 years he suffered at their hands. He had to flee for his life. We are talking about the Qarahira. Why? He didn't know how to talk. That's what he means. He, he didn't know how to talk. Look, he's provoking the people. They want to kill him. They loved him. All, 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 after the age of 40, they loved him, and now they want to kill him. Maybe he didn't know how to talk. You know how to talk. Allah says, Lakat kana lakum fi Rasulillahi uswatun hasana. Most certainly in the Apostle of Allah you have the best example. This best example created provocation from his own people. They want to kill him. Two hijras to Abyssinia the Sahabas made. And he had to flee for his life with everyone, lock, stock, and barrel. Everybody fled for their life to Medina. And they didn't leave him in peace even in Medina. Badat, Wahat, Khandat, war, war, war. Now in Medina he starts with the Jews. You know that? Amazing, <laughs> this man. <laughs> he, he, look, if you were with him, a sahaba, would you say, Ya Rasulullah, look man, we have just run for our life from Makkah. Huh? The mushiks are still after our blood, and now you're starting with the Yahudi. Ya Rasulullah, you know, Allah says, Udu ila sabili rabbika bil hikmati. You know, invite all to the ways of the Lord with wisdom. In other words, you're implying he doesn't know wisdom. You know. Now, so hadith says, you know. You know wisdom. A man that didn't know wisdom. Now he starts with the Jews, he starts with the Christians, he starts with the Munafiks. Four different groups of people now, they want to kill him. Do you know that? Why? Because he didn't know how to talk. You are the nicest people. 500 Imams, not one is hated by anybody. One fantastic community.
We are the most fantastic nation on earth. 160 million Arabs. Not one Arab is hated by the Jew or the Christian or the Hindu. Do you know that? Not one. You are fantastic people. Sab Allah wale. All godly people. No, what? what is it? No, you're not doing your job. When you do your job, you create reaction. It can't be helped. That's the nature of man. Allah describes it as a balnaqzifu bil haqqal al batil. When truth is hurled against falsehood, balnaqzifu bil haqqal al batil, by the mawhu faza huwa zahikun. He says it knocks out his brains. When you have falsehood and I throw haqq at you, it destroys your falsehood. When your brain is knocked out, how do you behave? Like a saint fellow. Huh? You go beside, man. You go beside, you're gonna kill. That is what the mission will do, to kill, kill, kill. They go berserk. It is haq against batil. This is the nature of haq. When you speak haq. Mm -hmm.